Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing another video. This is the September 21st update of my Central American Nicaraguan boa that I treated for arena virus, or should we call arena LCMB. His temperatures, his ambience 83 degrees, we have his humidity set 65%. I'm going to be doing away with the setup here pretty soon because he's getting quite large and I'm going to I'm going to go with a 120 gallon aquarium I believe. And he is getting a little dark because he's getting ready to shed out here pretty soon. I'd expect within the next week he'll be going blue. It had to be very slow with him. There he is. I cannot get over how big he is getting. He is dark in the eyes. He's going to go into a shed. Has excellent body weight. Yes, this bedding gets all over my floor. The vacuum every couple days. Right, buddy? Close your door so your humidifier stops going off. He's wondering what is going on. I'm going to feed him later today. He has gone through a recent growth spurt again. Oh, nice. Even though he's darkening out, I can still see the nice shiny complexion he has. Very active. He's been in his uh, treatment for 10 months now. I started December 22nd, I believe it was, when I started giving him the olive oil treatment. He came down with the clinical signs around towards the end of uh, October. And November 11th is when I had him tested for the arena virus, came back positive. And like everybody else, I was in denial at first, and I was on the phone with the vet. I was thinking it was a simple, either a parasite infection or bacteria, but she insisted to know that the tests that they conduct are accurate, and it was, in fact, inclusion body disease. I, it's arena LCMB, what it really is, but people in the reptile world call it inclusion body disease. And he was doing very well. I'm going to switch him over to small rats here. He has definitely graduated very quickly from wean rats. He's pushing about two and a half feet. Uh, actually, it was about 31 inches he measured at. Really good weight. All right, buddy. He's still cautious. Just have to be careful. No quick can movements. Guess you're gonna eat here in a little while. He's looking at my fingers like is that food. I was recently asked by a viewer about nidovirus. Well, nidovirus and COVID-19 are in the same group of viruses, so yes, I would imagine that's curable as well. As I've been saying, how you're going to cure a virus is by the animal's immune system. Quercetin and zinc in conjunction with each other work excellent for antiviral inhibitors as well. And the whole idea is to boost the animal's immune system and prepping the blood cells to fight the virus. And then in time, the, the animal's immune system will just simply absorb the virus. That's what's going to happen. In captivity, I don't believe these frozen thawed rodents pack enough nutrients to boost their immune systems high enough to fight the virus. But with the treatments I've been doing, hydroxytyrosol, quercetin, phenols and flavonoids, vitamins A, C, E, vitamin D, and all that good stuff for the immune system, along with his ambient temperatures of 83 degrees and a hot spot of 90, I keep his humidity right around 60-65%. Perfect. Gives his immune system the ability 
to fight off pathogens that other people just can't seem to fight off. He's doing very well. He's like very active today. Aren't you? Very beautiful snake. It's lounging out of my hand now. Pretty soon I'm going to need two hands to handle them. Okay. He's backing up a little bit, but prop his head up. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. When you're fighting a virus like this, hides are very important. They need a safe place to hide so they don't feel vulnerable. They're not all stressed out. Stress will kill them very quickly. As I was saying about nidovirus, it falls in the same category as COVID-19, and COVID-19 is not permanent, so I don't see why nidovirus would be permanent either in reptiles. As long as you supercharge the immune system and repairing the blood cells with hydroxytyrosol and quercetin and zinc and those type of things and keeping them within their temperature gradient, I would definitely see why uh, they couldn't cure themselves with their boosted immune systems. It worked out very well for me. Hey buddy, doing really well. Oh, look at your underbelly. Make sure, you know, it's very, very nice. He's still a little skittish. That's to be expected because he's still a young... He's only a little over a year old now. Like I said, for him being a dwarf species, he's a... Uh, and from this time last year, he has grown quite a bit. He is going to be a large male, that's for sure, just by his growth rate, and I do not power feed him either. So he's been growing very well, putting on some really nice size. Right? We can beat all these boogeyman snake viruses, can't we? That's all for now. You guys have a nice day.